put your hands together for Harper Rose Drummond. Thank God none of the uglies came out tonight. Oh! Dang, it's hot up in here. Okay. Now let's just get right into it. Does anyone have mommy issues in here? Just the women? Y'all saw that right? It was just the women. The men are like, what do you mean? I got an issue. I love my mom too much. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, you're like, oh, 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 I miss her. Okay. <laughs> gay. <laughs> no, you're not gay for loving your mom, you're gay for sitting like that. Okay, so. <laughs> the, there was a darkness in his eyes. He's like, I'll hit you, bitch. No, okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Men never have mommy issues, though. They're always like, well, <laughs> my mom calls me every single day to tell me that I'm perfect. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, <laughs> well, I don't want to brag, but my mom calls me every day, too, to tell me that I'm a cunt. <laughs> Here's the tea, you guys. I'm a little bit haunted, so I do have mommy issues. They came fucking hot. Okay, um, but anyway. <laughs> And uh, my mom actually, she did try and you know, mix up her brand the other day and she texted me out of the blue already. I was like, whoa. And she texted me out of the blue. She goes, hey honey, I just wanna say, I love you so much and I am so proud of you. So I start typing her back this like really sweet response. Well, chat GBT was. <laughs> keep AI out of Hollywood, but keep it in my relationship with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> When she sends me that text, I am taken aback. And so I wanted to, you know, make a good impression. This doesn't happen every day. So I start typing her back this really sweet thing. Before I can hit send, she sends me another text. And she was like, whoops, that was for your brother. <laughs> I was like, easy, bitch. Because we can take it from Harper Rose to Gypsy Rose just like that. So. <laughs> okay, so we've been watching that documentary. Oh my God, it's the only way I can come now. Um, so <laughs> I love to see a queen win! Okay. <laughs> but honestly, it does kind of frustrate me though with my mom because like we've always had kind of like a tricky relationship. That's my mom and I scissoring. And um, I wish she's always giving that attention to my brother. <laughs> Have you guys ever wondered why having sex with men is so frustrating? Yes, all of us together, all of us. <laughs> Ladies, you ever sit up at night going, why is it so bad? <laughs> it's because their moms are always on their hogs. Whoa! I'm like, tap me in, coach. Are y'all hearing those laughs? These are tired queens. <laughs> and one king, okay. <laughs> it was kind of fun when my mom texted me that because then she texted me another thing right after. I'm like, damn, she just doesn't stop. And she was like, so what do you want for your birthday? I was like, ha ha ha, gun, okay. <laughs> we found the Republicans. <laughs> I kind of like to think of my comedy like my ex-boyfriend thought about our relationship. It's just open for anyone. <laughs> I did get a yeast infection. Thank you. <laughs> word on the street is it's still healing, so y'all are in the smell zone tonight. Okay. <laughs> One of my old teachers is in the front row, so this is really <laughs> gonna be an interesting night. Stop crying, you're fully erect. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I just got that effect on men. What would you guys do if I told another joke? Okay, no. Um, <laughs> what if I don't have any? That's written down. I was, I've been practicing that for a year. You guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I am a white. Thank you. <laughs> my parents also happen to be whites as well. And uh, my parents are the type of white devil. They're not into like, you know, make America great again. They're not like that. My dad does way too many mushrooms. He is addicted to tie-dye. I'm like, you can wear another shirt. He's like, the Grateful Dead. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Every single old man has that for their personality. It's so great. Like, well, back in 1982. I'm like, uh-oh, didn't ask. Okay. <laughs> I did ask why you weren't at my belly recital. Well, actually, you know, scootily, date, date, date. I'm like, what are we doing? And the answer is not connecting. Okay. <laughs> His eyes just glazed over. He's like, oh, you're taking me back now. <laughs> but uh, my parents, they're the, uh, they're the type of white that's like really into their heritage. Again, not in an egregious way. But whenever a white gets excited, it is a little bit scary. And my dad, for instance, he's really into being Irish and Scottish. He's always like, I'm Irish and Scottish. I was like, dad, you were absent and me. <laughs> he's gonna hear this and be like, I was in that house every day. I'm like, but mentally you were long gone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my mom is really into being French. She's always like, Harper Rose, I am French. You need to get into your French culture. I am French. I'm like, mom, I'm already a bitch. Okay. <laughs> and I got weird tits, okay. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen French people's tits? <laughs> <laughs>
Looks like I'm not the only uncultured in the room. Boop. <laughs> She's like, I didn't know she was gonna be talking about this. Well, honey, get into it. <laughs> I had an interesting childhood. <laughs> interesting is just kind of like a nice, like sweet word for bad. <laughs> My mom sat me down one time and she was like, honey, I want you to know when you grow up, you can be anything in the world that you want to be. I was like, really? I'm like, well, what are you? She's like, honey, your father and I, we are writers. We're writers, we're journalists. And I was like, whoa, okay. Because looking around, it kind of seems like we are poor. <laughs> <laughs> Spaghetti again? Mm. <laughs> the claps are from that tax bracket, and I like that. <laughs> It has a good meal. <laughs> you can freeze it. <laughs> Relax. It is a good meal. Parmesan. <laughs> That's your nickname for the rest of the show. So, he hits me with a hammer. Stop, I'll come. <laughs> that one's just to see who's listening. <laughs> I wish no one was. <laughs> that laugh hurt my feelings. <laughs> My parents were journalists and they were very proud of their career. And I did grow up and I did decide to be something that, you know, I feel like is kind of similar. It's a career that no one else cares about unless you're the one doing it. Okay. And everyone thinks they can do. Okay. For a little bit of my childhood, I actually lived with my grandma. Okay. Yeah, that's where I learned how to be a bad bitch. Okay. People that live with their grandparents are just built a little bit different because you're getting that trauma straight on tap, all right? <laughs> so we've all been hit. <laughs> By who, baby girl? Pause in the set. Kinks are developed in childhood. Scootily doot doot. Okay. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Do I really like to be hit or do I just need a hug, you know? Harder. <laughs> There's some new friends in the audience. You guys are learning a lot. <laughs> My grandma wasn't one of those normal, like sweet oatmeal cookie grandmas. She was um, straight from hell. So, <laughs> Still to this day, I'm 30 years old. I'm white knuckling the last of my 30s. That means I'm almost 31. Thank you. I am brave for saying my age. Give it up for the old bitches. Okay, no, just kidding. <laughs> say your age, okay. <laughs> One time at a show, I did say my age, and this guy came up to me afterwards, and he was like, whoa, I thought you were a lot younger. And I was like, how, how young? How young did you think I am? 12? Mm -hmm. Did you think I was fucking 12? Did I look like your young niece on Facebook? <laughs> okay, we all have an uncle. <laughs> Still to this day, I'm almost 31 years old, and I've only ever been sent one naked picture in my life. Who was it from? My fucking grandma. And... <laughs> It was a full nude. She's sitting on a bed. She's like. <laughs> and I was like, damn! And those titties were tittying. <laughs> I was like, okay, so those are whose nipples I have. It was to her second husband. And I was like, okay, there was a third, don't worry. <laughs> Growing up, we didn't call my grandma, you know, Granny or Nana. You know, we called her the Black Widow. <laughs> Cause she's been married three times and they're all dead. <laughs> She didn't teach me how to knit. She taught me how to poison someone without killing them. So if anyone wants that rhubarb recipe, woo! <laughs> Cheaper than a divorce. That one was for the borings. Okay, so. <clears throat> Do you guys know what uh, nepotism is or are you guys poor? Uh-oh. <laughs> Work harder. <laughs> I don't want to turn you guys off or freak you guys the fuck out, but um, I actually am a nepo baby. I know, I know, it's, it's hard for you guys to hear, it's even harder for me to live. And um, I don't know if you guys remember the movie Bird Box with Sandra Bullock? Yeah, yeah, well I'm actually connected to that movie because my uncle tried to finger me during it. <laughs> oh! Okay. There's some people hiding their faces. There's someone remembering the time that they had fingers in their coot. Um, okay, Parmesan, loosen up. Here's what I said. <laughs> Unseasoned parm over here is like, no. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> you know you're a bad bitch when even the family's trying to get at you. <laughs> oh, okay. My uncle's fucking crazy smart for having such good taste. <laughs> My parents were like, we need to call the police. I was like, why is it a crime to recognize beauty? No, okay. Um, 
this is the highest my self-esteem ever has been. We celebrate it in our family, we love it. Notice I said he tried to finger me. Classic man, couldn't find the hole. Scootily do. <laughs> Disappointing. <laughs> if you're gonna commit the crime, at least do it right. This tepid response does make me want to continue going just like he did, so don't worry. <laughs> you just had a memory. <laughs> she said, man. She said, mine was easy. <laughs> and it was a cousin. Okay. <laughs> was he hot girl? Okay, yes. No, uh, <laughs> it's never the fucking hot family members that do this. It's always the ones that look like a pig mixed with like any tattoo. <laughs> it wasn't so much of him trying to finger me as him just trying to insert his hoof. It's like, stop. <laughs> and now we're all erect, okay. <laughs> Like I said, though, it was Christmas Eve 2018, and he was unsuccessful because I don't watch movies naked with my family. With just my brother, yes. No, he's bald, I would never. No offense. And uh, I'm half bald if you think about it. I'm so sorry. Just block me after that. It was Christmas Eve 2018, and honestly, you guys, that was kind of a fun one because I was like, wow, my uncle knew me all throughout my childhood, and he waited until I was about 25 to go, now it's time. <laughs> Gentlemen, hey. <laughs> my dad and my brother tackled him to the ground. I was like, okay, cock block. <laughs> the trauma, okay. <laughs> I'm hard to get, <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> I think the thing that's really funny is like every year my you know my parents complain about my uncle and this year was no different my dad calls me up and he's like god damn it Harper Rose I do not want to see Rick this year and I was like oh is it hard for you brother <laughs> <laughs> why you want to ruin my fun again he was like no I just you know besides all that it's just you know he I, I just can't stand him you know he's like a fucking meth addict I was like, whoa, 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 meth addict? He makes that shit in his bedroom. He's an entrepreneur. <laughs> so if anybody needs a hookup, hey, <laughs> I got you. But side effects are wanting to fuck me. So <laughs> maybe I should actually give it to my ex-boyfriend. Scootily do. Okay. <laughs> I was telling my guy friend about this. They're always fun to talk to about, you know, the lady troubles. You know, I feel like if I was just talking to my female friends, I could be like, oh my God, my uncle tried to put his fingers in my coot. And then she could be like, oh my God, crazy. Anyway, should we go to Sephora or where? But then when you're talking to your guy friends, you have to kind of like dress it up for their little delicate ears and, and make the trauma digestible for them. I was telling him about this and he was like, oh my God, Harper, well, honestly, I, I can relate. And I was like, oh, T, okay. What, what happened to you, brother? What's going on? And he was like, well, I, you know, one time I, I went home with a girl and she lived way farther away than I, I thought. <laughs> and I was like, oh, already we're off to a spooky start. <laughs> Ooh. He was like, well, we go home, we start making out. She starts, you know, kissing me. The clothes start coming off. All of a sudden we're both fully naked. And then she gets out a vibrator, turns it on, uses it on herself, she comes, and then kicks me out of her apartment. <laughs> Just to get a room read, are we okay in here? I wouldn't want anyone to be uncomfortable. <laughs> when you first told me that, I was like, oh my God, let's fucking call her. <laughs> it's rare to meet bitches with that high of self-esteem, let's go. <laughs> I love how a man's worst nightmare is just a woman's wet dream. <laughs> you guys, I was honestly reflecting the other day. Like I just said, I am 30. And I was reflecting on my 20s and I feel like I could have spent my 20s a little bit better. <laughs> and by a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> In my 20s, I was busy, uh, not with career stuff. Don't worry. <laughs> I was seeing what I could put inside my nose, bootily boot. <laughs> Did you know you can snort Molly scootily, dude? <laughs> During my 20s, I feel like I, I, like I wasn't like that true to myself. I was like always partying, I was very busy. And honestly, when I was looking back at how I was spending my time, I realized I spent a lot of time hooking up with a lot of dudes. Ooh, who said that? Not a lot of dudes, just a regular amount of fellas, okay? <laughs> Whatever you guys think is normal, that's me. <laughs> Spiritually, I'm honestly a virgin. <laughs> but physically, I've been through some things. <laughs> Ladies. No, most of it's been consent, it's been cool. 
just in case we weren't all on the same page. Honestly, even though I spent my 20s hooking up with dudes, I always just kind of felt like I was asexual. I was like, how many of these does it take to feel good? <laughs> the answer is the limit does not exist. I had to learn that the hard way. Whoa. But even though I always felt like I was asexual, once I turned 30, I toned my partying down. I kind of got my shit together and I realized, oh, I'm not asexual. I'm just a lesbian. <laughs> Okay. For those of you that didn't clap, I've sucked enough dick for you to still respect me, so thank you. I didn't put in all that work for nothing, so. And I applied for extra credit. Okay, so honestly, for the last two years, I've just been full munch. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> That's what we're calling it now. Unless you're my Republican grandma, she calls it a libtard. And. I know, I said, uh oh, looks like you're going to a bad home. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, you guys, uh, it has been really lovely dating ladies. It's been great. I love dating women because women are so beautiful and kind and communicative. And when we have sex, we're both into it. The men are lost. <laughs> what? What do you mean? When they're not into it, it's part of the fun. <laughs> We'll talk after the show, ah, or maybe not. <laughs> you guys actually recently got out of a relationship with a human woman. Whoa. We were together for about eight months, and so my jaw still hurts. <laughs> 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 From talking about all those feelings, whoa. <laughs> it's different than dating a man, <laughs> okay. When you date men, you can hide from them. Because a guy could be like, hey babe, what's wrong? Like, nothing, I'm fine. But cool, how about another beach? It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> My uncle just tried to finger me. Okay. <laughs> but then when you're dating a woman and you go, hey, hey babe, what's going on? They're, Nothing, I'm, I'm all good, I'm fine. It's like, oh, oh, I know this one. <laughs> you're not gonna fool me. I failed almost every class, but I got this one. <laughs> the last argument that I got into with my ex-girlfriend made me realize why the Salem Witch Trials were a thing. Because when she started up with that gaslighting, I was like, uh-oh, to the stakes we go. <laughs> you can find me on Reddit. <laughs> Gotta write some for the kings, ladies. <laughs> Even though I've been identifying as a lesbiana, I, I just started doing some reflecting just this year. And I was like, ah, oh, God damn it. I don't know. I don't know if I am. I don't know if I can commit to like fucking a piece of plastic for the rest of my life. <laughs> What if one day I want to fuck a piece of shit? <laughs> Named Duncan. He's not clean, but he has spirit. Did you hear that? That was a dirty dick guy who didn't like getting called out. <laughs> oh! My mom never talks to me like that. Aww. <laughs> I've been told that I'm really likable on stage. <laughs> I just recently took a, um, a little girl's trip with my best friend. Oh, okay, who has a best friend here? Mm, sounded a little like, get your friends up. Are y'all best friends? Okay, not y'all looking at each other. You wanna know what that was? They've seen each other naked. Okay, so. <laughs> a scootily do have a talk on the car ride home. <laughs> they said, oh, well, we are friendly. <laughs> okay. Munch. That right there was Gaylord. Parmesan, are you listening? Okay, we got a smile on Parm. <laughs> this whole time he's like, I didn't know she's gonna be mouthing off to the kings. <laughs> I went on a girl's trip with my best friend and honestly, when she pitched this idea to me, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God. You know, like, where are we gonna go? I was thinking maybe like Palm Springs or Vegas. And she goes, close. We're gonna go to the Czech Republic. <laughs> She was like, wow, it's full of history there. I was like, mm, cause that's what I love to do on vacation, learn. <laughs> Culturally, it's very different. I don't know if you guys know where the Czech Republic is. I know I didn't know where it was. I felt like a bad friend. And then I was reflecting on the things I do know. And I feel like I know a bunch of useless things. I don't know anything about geography. I don't know anything about the world leaders. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I could tell you every single race that Ariana Grande has been. <laughs> She's been white, she's been black, she's been with everyone's husband. That's my pop culture joke. It's culturally, it's very different though. Like when her mom picked me up from the airport, like they're very affectionate there. So she was like, 
eating me out. And I was like, wow, talk about a muncher. Parm, you would have hate to see the teeth on her. <laughs> there was one thing though, that was very similar to, to being in the States. And that was that they don't think that trans people are real. We've gone to the trans part, guys, we're gonna be okay. It is really sad to me that wherever you go in the world, no one believes that trans people are real. I guess you could say that Dave Chappelle and I are very similar in the sense that we're both obsessed with trans people. Except when I find a pussy where a penis is supposed to be, I'm not horrified, I am delighted. <laughs> Thankful even. Oh, thank God. I was dating a trans man a few months ago and he was very sweet, very romantic and things were progressing. He took me to a farmer's market, y'all. Like, shit was for real. <laughs> he would open the door for me, so sweet. And on one of our last dates, we're hanging out, and he was like, I love getting to know you. I like, don't wanna see anyone else. So I was like, oh my God, that's how I feel. And then I just was feeling so good after that date. I'm just going for a walk in my neighborhood, and I walk by this bar. And who do I see inside but him? And I see him kissing another girl. And I was like, well, that seems like a real man to me. So, <laughs> my name's Harper Ostrom, and thank you so much.